Hello, this is Wampire. Um, in this video, I wanted to elaborate on the Wampire Challenge. Uh, all those people who said that they are willing to take the challenge, thank you so much. Um, this is good stuff. We can, we can do this. We, we can get through this. It's, it's awesome, all right? Uh, but, you know, a lot of people want to get fit. They want to slim down for the summer. They want to look good, you know, during summertime and stuff like that. So they start working out, what? during the summer all right it's it's a little bit too late for that we start now okay we start now think of how many months we got this is a good thing this is really really awesome so uh th thank you for for taking the challenge and let, let me elaborate on on some more detail and clarify some more stuff that hopefully you're going to find beneficial so all right uh the the first thing that i want to talk about is one of the reasons why uh, this method a minimum of five push-ups a day every day okay is like I said uh, to constantly get you thinking about exercising every day even if it's just five push-ups you're still thinking about exercising every day okay and uh, that the reason why that's so powerful is because uh, what kills us is the hiatus all right so like you know, you you say you're all motivated and you're you're, you're like I'm gonna do this awesome workout I'm, I'm gonna you know, do all this hard, incredibly hard stuff, and it's going to be challenging, and I can do this, blah, 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 blah. And then for whatever reason, you get busy or you, you get unmotivated, uh, you get distracted, and, and it just it just falls apart, and you're not able to, to do uh, your goal there, okay? So what happens? A lot of times, you take a break. And the next workout doesn't begin till maybe three months, six months later, or even worse, years later. Okay, that break is what kills us. Okay, so we we want to avoid that. But the reason why that happens probably is also because um, no one wants to admit that they failed miserably. No one wants to admit that their plan was unrealistic and they were not as disciplined or they suck or you know oh, any of that stuff no one wants to be told these negative things so subconsciously you're probably going you know oh man this was not good let's not talk about this for a while let's just ignore this and then your buddy comes up and it's like dude let's go work out let's hit the gyms and you're like mm, nah man I'd, I'd rather just play video games or something like that you know it's there's a subconscious you know, it's it's kind of a back effect that happens from that. You know, you set the bar way too high, and now you're a little bit almost like embarrassed about it. Okay, so so there's that negative uh, backlash. Okay, we want to avoid that. Okay, so uh, that's one of the good things about this is yeah, it's just five push-ups a day. It's incredibly small, but re remember that's also because it's so easy. You know, I'm I'm counting on that you're gonna do more. Okay, and and that's also what's good about it is because it's so easy, it's doable and it's not discouraging. You can say, yes, I can do this. I can do this. Just five push-ups. So, you know, everyone knows that in order to accomplish something that's truly worthwhile, something that's really, really important or something that's really beneficial to you, okay, it's going to take multiple steps. You can't just immediately do it and get the results. If so, chances are it's not that valuable. Valuable things, difficult things, things of true quality usually require a whole lot of steps and they're not easy. They're not easy. But here, what we're doing is we're, we're taking those small steps. That's what we're doing. And we're making sure that we win each battle. Each, those small battles, we want to get used to winning them. And knowing how that feels like subconsciously, you know, positive um, feedback and also uh, being productive you know and that way when you do start getting into harder workouts and stuff you can say to yourself you know like oh man I really don't feel like working out today I'm really busy the weather's bad the traffic's terrible however you tell yourself hey you know what man after I come back from that gym I know I'm gonna feel good I know I will. It's always at the beginning I feel bad, but at the end I'm going to be glad that I did it. So I need to I need to get my butt over there. You know, those are the kinds of thinking that you do that where you can win those small wars, you know, and and those wars add up to where you get to your goal. So that's what we're doing here. Win the small wars. Get in the habit of doing that, okay? So that's why uh, the five push-up thing. All right. So the next thing is um all right. Um we don't want to 
do this kind of thing where you go, I'm going to do 20 push-ups now, all right? Therefore, I know the, the later in the week it's going to get busy and stuff, so I'll do 20 now and I can skip a few days. It's not the way it works, okay? If you do 20 now, all right, you're still going to do five tomorrow, five the next day, every day, five, okay? So the 20 now, all that extra that you did, those are all bonuses for you. They don't count for the five a day. However, they count for you. That's all good money in the bank. Cha-ching, those are all good things right there, okay? So, you know, it, it just doesn't work that way where you can say, okay, it doesn't matter if you do a thousand today, okay, you're still going to do five tomorrow, all right? That's, that's the rule. That doesn't change, all right? And the other thing is you also don't say stuff like where you're going to go, okay, look, I'm not going to do any today, but I promise I'll do double the amount tomorrow. I'll do triple tomorrow. Doesn't work that way, okay? Do the five today. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. Come on, you can do that. You could do that. There's no, there's no excuse for that. Like I said, you can't do push-ups. Five dumbbell curls, okay? Just, just do that, all right? So come on. No excuses whatsoever. No loaning, okay? No loaning, no owning, okay? Uh, you don't owe and you don't loan, all right? Five a day, every day. That's just the way it works. Now, um, the next uh, recommendation that's going to help you out also is, like today, I did some modified pull-ups, all right? Uh, I woke up in the morning, and that wasn't the first thing that I did, but that was one of the, one of the things that I did relatively quick. I woke up and did some stuff, and then I did that. I did five, not, not five, I'm sorry. I did modified pull-ups, all right? I didn't count that as the five push-ups, okay? Um, I said to myself, okay, that's the bonus. I still need to do my five push-ups. So in other words, push the five push-ups to the back of the day. Like do other workouts, all right, first. And then still keep in mind, I still need to do my five. I still need to do my five. That'll encourage you to do more, okay? If you do your five immediately, like you wake up in the morning, you do five, and then you go, okay, I did my five. I don't have to worry about it then you're probably not going to worry about it. You're going to forget about it and then the next day. So the whole rest of the day, you didn't do anything other than the five push-ups. Remember, our goal is to do more than that, okay? We, we, when things get busy and stuff and you just do the five push-ups, that's completely fine. That's complete. That's okay. You, you still follow the rule. That's fine. It's still a victory. That's a good thing, all right? But we want to do more. All right, we want to do more. So anyway, that's one of the ways to help encourage you to do more, okay, is to push it back till later, all right? You don't have to wait till like it's, you know, midnight or anything like that, or actually that's already the next day, but you don't have to wait till it's nighttime, all right? You just push it back, get some other workouts before that in if you can, okay? Or if you don't want to, maybe you're the type of person to just do them all now. I'm going to do my sit-ups. I'm going to do the push-ups. I'm going to do all that stuff right now, okay? Um, you know, mountain climbers and all that. You, you might be that kind of person. And that's fine, too. That's fine, too. This is a pretty flexible program. All right, the last thing, all right, um, is change your workouts, especially uh, maybe not right now immediately, but over the long haul, Definitely, definitely change your workout. So if you have been doing uh, the, the five push-ups, and then in addition to that, let's say uh, you've been doing other stuff, like maybe you've been running, okay? Then change it. Change it to jump rope. Change it to, okay, now I'm going to do some dumbbell curls or, or you know, change it because it's you want to keep it fresh, refreshing, and exciting, okay? You don't want to get bored, all right? So... Uh, those are some of the tips. Hope this uh, encourages you guys even more. Let's do this. It's going to be fun. Let's stay motivated. Um, every, every chance you get on YouTube, watch motivational videos. Watch like the other day I saw uh, clips from um, the, the Karate Kid and stuff like that just to help me uh, uh, motivate myself. Saw some clips from Rocky and stuff like that. So, you know, I encourage you guys, you know, keep your motivation going, okay? And uh, like I said, we can do this. So happy holidays. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.